New trouble tonight for Starbucks, still reeling from several ugly racial incidents. A worker at a La Kenyatta Flint Ridge Starbucks allegedly wrote a slur that is very offensive to Latinos on a customer's cup. And tonight, people are outraged. Kick on Chris Holmstrom is live tonight with more. Chris. And Jeff, it all happened at this Starbucks you see behind me. It was on Tuesday morning, and as you can imagine, people living in this area are outraged. Miguel Acosta defending his friend after learning he received this drink from the La Cañada Flint Ridge Starbucks. On the label, a racial slur toward Latinos. His co worker helps translate. Yesterday, went to Starbucks and they asked for his name, and his name is Peter, and they wrote this beaner. Um, and he's saying that it's not fair. Miguel says his friend didn't deserve this and doesn't understand why he was targeted. And his friend's really sad right now with everything that's going through. So it's really hard. People living nearby also in disbelief. I'm shocked. I go to that Starbucks almost every day. And I'm disappointed in Starbucks. I mean, that's when you put something in a computer and put a name on something, you're labeling someone. And I think that's not right. At Starbucks, customers I spoke with had no idea, but tell me they would have thought twice before making a purchase. And I guess it brings back a lot of discrimination. It brings back a lot of old, you know, growth that we should have had before. This incident comes one month after a black man at a Torrance Starbucks claims he was denied access to a bathroom. And in Philadelphia, two black men were arrested after waiting for a business meeting at a Starbucks. And now, racist remarks on cups. The Starbucks manager declined to talk to me on camera, but the company released this statement saying, this is not indicative of the type of experience we want our customers to have when they walk into our stores. We have apologized to them directly and are working to make things right. Starbucks says they are investigating this case, and because of incidents like this, they are holding a racial bias training later this month in stores all across the country will shut down.